So this website is actually using our educate template and as you can see it did come out pretty clean but there are some areas that I think could be improved and in this video we're going to be working on this first part the hero section so let's get started. I just quickly designed this logo in Figma it's a different layout it's vertically aligned and I think that works better because we don't have any links to the left or the right and this will kind of flow into the page better. I will also delete the divider line and then I'm just gonna adjust the padding a little bit so we have less space. I'm also gonna make this from 80 to 60. Now the first thing that we'll do with the text is I'm gonna remove this uh, growth experts pre-header because we already see it in the logo and it's kind of repetitive and also I'm gonna take out this busy skilled online creators. I will actually increase the max width of this first container. I'll set it to 1200 and also for the headline I'll also set it to 1200 as well. I will actually get this text and I'll paste it right on the layer of the video wrapper. Select the video wrapper, make it vertical aligned also I'm gonna change the background from this transparent white to the purple brand color and then for the font we'll set it to 16 we'll make it like semi bold I will add a transform uppercase I'm also gonna change the, the text because click the demo video below to learn how it can be a bit confusing and I think watch the video below to see how it is a bit clearer now the next thing that I want to do is add a preheading for that part that we removed but I'm actually gonna have it in a different style so I'll just add this little preheading container so we have busy skilled online creators to kind of introduce it and then we have the main headline here and this way our text has a bit more of a structure to it instead of the previous version when, where it was just a big wall of text. Now after that let's actually work on the background because I have a pretty cool idea that I think could work. So because their logo has to do with chess it has a knight in the logo I think we could have a nice chess board as a background so to do that I will remove the current one and I'll just drag in a chess board layer that I created in Figma and I will paste it inside of the hero wrapper layer and I'm gonna set it to absolute. Once we do that we will remove the left and right and I'll set it to zero on the bottom. I'll center it and then I'll set the width to let's say 100% and I'm gonna lower the Z index to zero. Now we do have this little chessboard pattern in the background but I still think we're missing something so I think I'll add some lighting effects from the top that will kind of bring it more to life. Paste it in the desktop layer and I'm gonna set it to absolute again. We're gonna detach the left and right and for the top we're gonna set it to zero we will set the width to relative 100% I think we're close but what I want to do is I want to add a gradient to the hero wrappers and I think that's actually nice I think it gives it a good effect and then I think we have another cool opportunity to add some branding elements on the button so instead of it being this generic white button we could actually select it and make it purple again we're gonna have linear gradient then I'm gonna select the text and I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna just command option and C to copy the style and paste it on the hover effect now what we will do which I think will be really cool is we can take this night element from the logo and use it in the CTA so I'll just export that and I'm gonna insert it here here's our little knight I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna paste it inside of the button I'll delete the arrow and then I'll just move it to the left side I'm gonna decrease the gap from 36 to 12 and then on hover I think we could make it closer like 10 pixels so there's a bit more motion and also I'm gonna extend the gradient so the button goes darker and for the border I'm gonna also make it darker and for the shadow what we'll do is we'll completely remove the blur I think this will give it a very nice hover effect that kind of signifies that you can click it with that out of the way I think we are pretty much done I think it turned out pretty clean um, so yeah you're gonna see a comparison between before and after on the screen and let me know if you think I improved it and and if you want to get your website redesigned, share a link to your website in the comments and maybe I will feature it in the next video.